Hi everyone. Today we will create our start game UI. It will using custom font and has start game button. Let's play this. When we press the start game, it will hide our menu. Like that. Okay, let's start. We'll create the game title first using canvas. Right click UI Text Mesh Pro and give the name title. Double tap to zoom in. Let's give a name. Uh, for now, I will use simple basketball shoot. Resize the text box. Let's make the font bigger first. Yeah, let's try for 120. Again, resize the box. Let's make it center so when we edit something, it's, it will still on the right position. Center. I will not care for the position right now. We will use another component for that. Just place it throw and create a button to start. UI and then button. Again, same as the title, we need to resize it. And change the button text. We will use this ugly button for now and we will change it later. Start game. The font size become 50 maybe? Okay, that's okay for now. For the title, I want to use custom font. For that, we will find our font. You can find your font in Google Font or any place you want. I will use Envato Elements. I often use this for all of my projects. I can find music, sound effects, templates, or anything. Right now we will find the fonts. Let's see, all fonts. And maybe we can give some keyword like game. See, there are so many options. Oh, by the way, if you want to use this, I will give the link in the description below with my affiliate link and also the bear link. If you do not wish to support me, then it's okay too. And I, I think I will use this one. And just download it. Type the project name. Simple Basketball Shoot. Now we have the font and let's open it. Get back to our Unity and let's create folder named font. Here I will drag and drop the, our font. The problem with this is XMAS Pro using another font format. And we need to create the format that it fits for it. To do that, just open window. And then TextMess Pro, Font Asset Creator, in source font file, just drag our font into there and generate font atlas. Then save it as asset, like that. And we got the format that TextMess Pro needed. Get back to our title and then change our font asset by drag it into the font asset. There. Now we already used the custom font. I think the font is quite small for this type of font, so let's resize it. Okay, 150, it's good, I think. And let's give a color, maybe. Let's try yellow. Oh, it's so bad. 
Okay, I think it will be bad for any color because of full color background there. Don't worry, we'll create the background much darker than this, so our font color will be popped up more. I will choose the color to more light yellow right now. Go to our canvas again, UI and create panel. And we can change the panel color into black and set the alpha maybe right here and set our panel position below our title and button okay now our font already popped up you can always add some outline here like that and maybe if you want to change the color okay i will just use it like this and for the button, I will make it transparent. That way I can only see the text. Get back to the start game text. Resize it. And we can use the same font, I think. It's a color. We'll use 120 for now. It looks good. And on our button, let's resize it. On the start game text, we can give something that's showing it is a button. Something like, like this. Okay, I think this is good enough. Let's check on other devices. Okay, that's good. Now we can adjust position for our title and the button to be better. Again, right click on canvas, create empty. We can call it our game group. Place it above the panel. Put the title and the button into the child of start game group make it center press alt and shift and then center and to make the title and the button become the component of the start game group we can use vertical layout group just like that let's set the settings here child alignment to become middle and center now we can see it's already lined up like this. We can make the button smaller. Okay, it looks better. And the start game group, we can adjust the position. It will be locked into the center of the screen. And with Y position plus 70 from the center. If we see it on another device, it always good. Let's try iPad. See, it's good. Now we need to create when the start game is pressed. Then we remove this, this panel and start game group. So the player can start playing. To make it easier to see, we can just drag the start game group to the panel. Because we need to disable this panel when our start game button is pressed. We will hide it like this. Go to our button. There's on click here and add one. And then we can drag the panel to here. The function game object add active into not active. That's it. Let's try. If I press start game, then it's gone. 
you see that our mouse still interacting with the ball even though it's still not starting the game. Don't worry, we will fix it later. The most important thing is our UI is ready. And what's next? Next, we will change our system because right now all the events starting from the ball and it's kind of weird. We need a gameplay system to manage flow of the game. After that, we will create the end game UI to replay the game. That's it. Thank you for watching. See ya.